Hello YouTube, it's Tuesday, and I promise this isn't jizz on my shirt. See, it's Korea. So I guess Korea must have jizzed on my shirt. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about shirt jizz. I'm actually here to answer one of the most obnoxious questions that a cis person could ask you. I'm going to cite specific events in my life that helped me come to the conclusions that A, I'm not female, and B, I'm a guy, give or take a few percentage points. When I was about eight or nine, I had a friend over and we were watching boxing. Out of nowhere, I stripped off my shirt, stuffed toilet paper into my crotch, and started screaming about how manly I was and how I was going to become a boxer someday. Somehow, my friend was not surprised when I came out to her. Because, you know, it's not like it was obvious or anything. A different time, this same friend was over, and her, and her older sister was babysitting us, and apparently I was talking about how I had a banana in my pants. These next things are less specific, but still pretty relevant. In elementary school, I hung out with a fair mix of girls and guys, but I never really liked playing the girlier games at recess. I would play fighting and war games and games with Legos, and pretty much the only time I ever did anything remotely girly was whenever we had a fake soap opera. We acted out our own soap opera where every five seconds someone had to cry or die or end up in the hospital, and everyone participated in that, even all the guys, so it wasn't really, um, basically the gender had nothing to do with it. And even in elementary school, when I hung out with my friends who were girls, we never played anything that was super girly, you know? We played... I can't exactly remember, but we didn't have, you know, we didn't play hopscotch or tea parties or any stuff or anything like that. I don't know. We were imaginative kids, and we played a lot of make-believe games, and it was really fun, and we used our imaginations all the time. And I don't specifically recall anything too feminine that we did. We just kind of did whatever. And whenever we would play these make-believe games where we had to use our imaginations, I would always end up in the role of the dude. Because I never wanted to be in the position where I would have to act as a female. Because, I mean, I didn't exactly know why I didn't feel comfortable doing that. I just didn't. I felt more comfortable um, being in the position of the male. Eventually, puberty kicked in and, you know, all hell broke loose. I absolutely hated, and still hate, obviously, my chest. My mom tried to get me to wear push-up bras that would accentuate that area, and I never wanted to. I never wanted to. And she would always tell me to stand up straight and, you know, stick them out. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to show them off. I'm not proud of them. And I didn't know exactly why. I just hated them and I wanted to cut them off. So in summary, puberty was very alarming and caused me a lot of stress. And it still causes me a lot of stress because it just my life took a turn in the completely wrong direction and I had absolutely no control over what was happening and all I could do was sit back and watch my life just completely take a turn for the worse. I became aware of my gender at the beginning of my senior year. It was actually about a year ago, um, a week before Thanksgiving actually, when I started binding. And before I started, I did extensive research, so that way I wouldn't hurt myself while doing it. So I never used an ace bandage, I never used tape, and I never used anything that would harm me. So when I first started binding, I didn't really have sports bras, but I had this old leotard that I had worn back when I did ballet in the first grade or whatever. It was a bit stretchy, but it compressed well. Well enough for me, at least. I wasn't, I mean, I knew I wasn't going to pass or anything. I just wanted to see if it would work. And the moment I put on that modified uh, leotard, um, I had cut it to where it fit like a sports bra. The moment I put that on, BAM! That's all I have to say, BAM! It felt right, it felt awesome. And I know it sounds really cheesy and cliche to say that I had an epiphany, but I had an epiphany. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and don't forget to be awesome.